my life in my car more comfortable and to um, mimic, so to speak, living as sticks and bricks. You know, I don't cook a whole lot, but if I want to make something, I want to have the ability to make something type of situation. But that being said, it needs to be small scale because regular size pots and pans don't seem that big until you have to put them in a small space with other stuff. So, anyway. So this is a small um, cooking set that I picked up. Everything that I'm showing today is stuff I got off Amazon. I don't usually buy stuff from Amazon because they suck. <laughs> but, but I did because um, time frame, I, I wanted stuff to get here quickly so I could do my build, make sure everything was going to fit and work out the way I wanted it to and not be trying to figure it out while I'm actively in my car. So, and my friend lets me use their Prime account, so, you know, why not? Anyway, this is the little um, stove part. I haven't purchased the uh, butane or propane canisters just yet. I want to wait until I'm actually going to cook to put that in my car so that it's not in there if it doesn't have to be in there you know type situation anyway this is pretty small uh, but it slides over so it makes the little burner shelf whatever you call this obviously this screws into one of the canisters that I don't have but let me just set that there I hope you can see this let me move this stuff my room is cluttered I am working on processing some fiber as you may or may not know I'm a fiber artist so I'm just blending this up to spin it into yarn and I was working on that yesterday and haven't finished it and that's where it's sitting so just gonna move that out of the way I got some water had a bowl of cereal all stuff you really don't care about but I'm gonna tell you anyway <laughs> so, so this is the little stove part um, and then We've got our utensils in here. I don't know if you really want to see it, but I'll open it. Um, so in here we've got a carabiner, um, spoon, fork, butter knife, and these just unfold and this little slide, uh, sliding piece locks, locks it in place so it doesn't fold while you're trying to use it. Um, they all are featured that way. Uh, so these just go in this little Velcro baggie don't really know what the carabiner is for but you know you can never have too many of those so that's cool uh, and inside we've got a little pot and a little pan and I do mean little like big and small like literally for one person but that's okay because I'm only one person so they've got these handles that open up like that um, so you've got your handle you can put it on your cooktop that's not going to balance because there's no base on that so I'm not even going to set it up there same goes for the pan handles flip out like that um, I think a slice of bread might be able to fit in here I hope so because I really like to make grilled cheese sandwiches but, but I don't know this pan is pretty small I might have to cut it up into quarters and make like miniature sandwiches we'll cross that bridge when we get there anyway that's the pan pot comes with a little lid this lid does not fit on the pan which makes me sad but that's all right um, inside there are these itty bitty teeny tiny bowls like I don't know if this is for kids or something <laughs> but we've got two little bowls even though these only make enough food for one person um, comes with this little folding ladle it's kind of cool locks into place you just squeeze that handle there to unfold it almost broke it the first time because I was like how does this what comes with a little loofah sponge thingy to clean your stuff up even though I'll probably be using like wipes to clean this out. A little rice spoon, I think that's what that is. Yeah. Anyway, these are non-stick, um, or at least they say they're non-stick. Let's hope that they are, that means they'll be super easy to clean. So I'm going to just put everything back in here. I'm going to open this. Um, the things that arrived today were a little cook set, my power station, some shoes that are not related to this. I just wanted the shoes, <laughs> so I got some shoes. Um, and uh, magnets for the table. I'm changing the design 
time for the table. I'll show you guys that in another video. Um, I think that's it. Tomorrow my solar panel is supposed to be arriving. Yesterday the mesh window covers arrived along with um, my battery bank. So what I've done is purchase a 350 watt power station to 10,000 milliamp hour battery banks and then I have a small one that came with some earbuds that I lost but I still had the power unit uh, to charge but it's also a battery bank for charging so I've got three power, power banks, one power station um, and a small inverter for the 12 volt in the car. So I think I have enough power, uh, 100 volt, um, 100 watt solar panel is arriving tomorrow. This is a coastal cooling blanket. Um, I think I said not that long ago that I don't have air in my car right now and I'm estimating it to take about $1,100, $1,200 to fix because nearly the entire uh, air conditioning system has to be replaced and once you add in the cost of mechanic labor, the total gets to be ridiculous. So anyway, I need to try to stay as cool as I possibly can in the meantime. Um, and while well, I could just like sleep with no covers, I tend to sleep with also no clothes. And even though I will be buttoned up in my car and no one can see me, it's still a good idea to have some kind of cover in case you have to jump out in emergency that I don't even want to make that up. <laughs> so anyway, this is a cooling blanket. It has arc chill, which is some kind of Japanese textile that is a cooling fiber. So anyway, it's kind of heavy. I bought the smallest size, which was like throw blanket size, because my bed is small. I don't need that much cover. I'm not that big. Uh, right off the fabric is, it feels just like um, jersey fabric, like uh, not like knit jersey, but uh, like a basketball jersey or basketball shorts. That's what the material both looks and feels like. I don't know if you can really see that. Like it's like a teeny tiny mesh. Um, it doesn't feel cool just holding it. Um, but it may feel cool when I'm under it. I don't know. I, I think it's also, as I looked at several of these, one is it's like is double sided like one side will keep you cool the other side will keep you warm type situation i really wanted something that was going to keep me cool on both the front and the back because i don't need anything that's warming when it's 90 degrees outside um the material is really soft the inside is knit fabric the outside is like this mesh i'm assuming this is the top side because it's got the pattern on it um, it feels okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to form a real opinion on it until I have to actually use it. This is supposed to cool you down like up to 10 degrees. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to put that over there. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is the power station. So I'm going to move that. Um, this is a brand that probably no one has heard of before. <laughs> this kind of setup as far as power station and battery uh, battery banks, battery packs, is not what I plan on doing when I get my van. Once I'm in my van, I intend to have a dual battery setup that is wired into my car system with a battery charger and all that jazz so that I have essentially continuous power without the downtime of charging like with solar panels or um, whatever. That's the type of setup I intend to do. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on power for the car when I only plan to be in my car for say a year before I get my van. Once my car is paid off, which is in about a year, then um, I'll be getting my van and I can do a different setup. So this will be yours and my first time seeing this. Um, the outside of the box is super generic. Uh, there's no label on it. Um, 
it says 100, 120 volts, 350 watts, this lithium battery, so it should last a decent amount of time. Alright, packing materials. I'm grateful that it is smaller than it looked online. Like, it definitely looked bigger than this online. And smaller is almost always better when it comes to living in a small space. This small box here has, I guess, our charging unit. So, 12 volt um, adapter here. Cool, cool. So, this is a 12 volt cable. This is, um, I don't know, another cable power cable to plug it into an actual outlet, uh, so if I want to charge it in a building. Right, this has three charging options, USB, mm, USB, you click that be something, a <laughs> 12 volt, uh, AC power, and DC power, don't get me lying, I don't know. Anyway, it comes with this little manual, gives you all the good information on how to use this thing so you don't blow yourself up. Pretty sure it's not explosive, but you never know. I never know anyway. I'm just gonna put those back. Oh, cool. We don't need that right now. That's an awesome poster. Put that over here. And the main star of the show this power bank comes with a nice folding handle that was loud. The top features um, wireless charging. My iPhone is too old for wireless charging, but once I upgrade, I can put it right up here and charge it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the front side here, okay, so the brand is Zero Core, it looks like, at four out of five star reviews on Amazon. Not a whole lot of reviews, but there are so many power stations out there that you can get that, you know, it's, I'm not surprised. Especially because you have so many big name brands that so many people are going to buy. The smaller brands and offshoots and whatever typically kind of get overlooked. At least that's my opinion. Because I've bought cheap things before that I was like, this is great. Why don't more people buy this? I don't know. Anyway, um, I went for this particular one because I really wanted two regular like household outlets. I didn't want just one and a lot of the smaller battery um, stations uh, only come with one and I wanted two because again I don't have air in my car right now so I need to have more fans running and I needed to be able to plug those fans in. USB fans are great but I wanted a fan with a bit more power which meant a regular you know plug outlet which meant having a plug plug-in spaces um, and I really like that these accommodate three prongs my fan doesn't have three prongs but if I needed to plug in something that was three prongs I can so that was really why I picked this one because it had two and the price was below others that had two so you know I don't have any money <laughs> anyway this also has two USB uh, a USB type C which is pretty cool um, that's great for charging my um, smaller battery packs. They are USB-C. We have a 12 volt, the 25 volt input here. Uh, DC, we've got 12 volt, 8 amps, I think. 24 volt, 3 amps. So I'm not sure if that's what that means. Power button, our AC issue stuff over here. 12 volt over here. I don't know what this button is for. Oh, hey, it's a flashlight. Okay, that's what bu that button is for. And uh, it comes with a decent charge. We're like three out of five charged. Got a strobe light gun, slower blink blinking light, and off. Pretty dope. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna just set this over here. I'm gonna open up this last box should have my shoes and magnets in there. I love magnets, kind of, sort of, not really. I mean, I like really strong earth magnets. I think they're cool. <laughs> but like, I don't have any magnets in my refrigerator, so I like them, but not that much. Um, that's not entirely true. I have one clip magnet 
on my refrigerator that holds all the bills that I'm never going to actually pay. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm also serious. Okay. Yep, so here are our magnets. They are definitely smaller than I thought they were going to be, like half the size I thought they were going to be, but the upside is that there are 80 magnets in here. so. I can just use more is cool. I'm going to adhere these to my base over here. You probably can't see it. I think it's off camera, but that's going to be my storage unit pretty much um, on the passenger front uh, of the car. Um, so yeah, got these super strong earth magnets here. I'm just going to put that over there away from electronics. And last but not least, I have some uh, no brand really black canvas shoes because I wanted some black canvas shoes um, to paint and these are great. I have white ones that I wear every day but I really wanted black um, and just looking at this shoe right off it looks like it's going to be too small for my foot. That's it you guys. Thanks for watching me do boring essentially meaningless stuff. It's cool that you are interested enough to do so so thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next video.